Hello and welcome to this week's Biotech Roundup. Yes, it's an absolute scorcher today. So let's jump in so you guys can get back out in the sun. Number one, there's been a lot of talk around NPS scores, improving the customer experience and also omni-channel, but there's been little talk around the omni-customer and this is where John In comes in. So John is our in-house customer experience product owner and he has over 30 years experience in the IT industry. Of late, John has been becoming increasingly interested in the behaviours of the Omni customer and how these characteristics are affecting the business landscape. Not only has CX been climbing the ropes to sit as a hot ticket item on the business agenda, the Omni customer is demanding that businesses change, but not only change, but change in a particular way. Whilst not all the Omni customers fault, the ability to channel hop with some businesses is creating an expectation that you should be able to achieve the same experience with all businesses. And it is this which is putting immense pressure on businesses to invest huge amounts of time, money and innovation to deliver a seamless experience across all channels. And in some cases, create entirely new channels if these are missing from their current offerings. You can read more on the Omni customer using the link below. Number two, on the topic of experience, Finn Extra released a blog this week detailing how, when and why banking digital transformation should switch the focus to user experience transformation instead. With as many as 78% of companies failing to meet their digital transformation goals, much investigation has gone into the shortcomings on projects as well as where businesses can gain longer term benefits. One observation to come from this was that digital transformations tend to focus mainly on the product, innovation and or digital technology. But like we mentioned in the first news story, the customer is having a huge impact on digital strategy and businesses would be foolish to ignore the data they can leverage from their customer's behavior. In the words of Alex Krieger, to ensure a successful result, the primary focus should be switched from digital to experience transformation. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Number three, whilst learning from your own mistakes can be a benefit, learning from others can provide great value and less repercussions. As more companies look to learn from each other's transformation disasters, the move to Agile appears to have quickened at the same time. This has left traditional testing services in a tricky position. And it's this position that Adam Petman discusses in a case study opinion piece published by DevOps Online. Now, Petman breaks down how testing plays an integral and pivotal part of the DevOps process and actually can sometimes be forgotten about and in some cases lead to major incidents. Some of the themes that Patman discusses draws parallel with those raised by our own team in last week's Ask Me Anything session. The main takeaway being from both that testing should be implemented earlier and with more care and due diligence by organizations that wish to launch their products more smoothly. Discover more using the links below. Number four, much like the humble potato chip, DevOps is fast becoming a stronger offering in the company of other methodologies and practices. Security in DevOps has for a long time been as reliable and trusted as the classic fish and chip combo. And now cybersecurity and DevOps have formed a critical collaboration, the gourmet burger and triple cook chips duo, if you will. Now, while cybersecurity was once a successful installation of firewall and antivirus software, the advancement of cyber criminal activity has meant that cybersecurity now demands a continuous approach towards evolving the maturity of its resilience to new attacks. This makes it the perfect partner to the DevOps approach. And when it comes to developing, managing and maintaining continuous delivery and quality, there's many lessons it can learn from the DevOps methodology. Read the blog to find out how to overcome the top five challenges when it comes to adopting a DevOps approach with cybersecurity using the link below. Number five, Google Cloud and Orange made the news this week after announcing a strategic partnership that will cover data, artificial intelligence and cloud computing services. According to the announcement, Google Cloud will contribute its expertise in cloud analytics and AI tools, while Orange will use the help of Google Technologies to manufacture a state-of-the-art data analytics and machine learning platform. Together, they hope to reach B2B, B2C, as well as wholesale markets, providing a flexible, secure, and cutting-edge solution that will look to strengthen the global reach of each of the businesses. There's also hope that the partnership will pave the way for new advanced cloud and edge computing services exciting stuff. You can find out more using the link that we've dropped in the comments. 
And that is it. That is all we have time for. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the Firetech Roundup. I hope you enjoy the rest of the week. As mentioned, we have had a few Ask Me Anything sessions, which are now live on YouTube. So if you want to go check those out, head over to the ECS YouTube channel. Um, there are about 45 minutes each. So just long enough for a great lunch break. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Stay safe, enjoy the sun, and I'll catch up with you next Friday. Take care.